My channel my name is Ivan and this is Dicky May 17 my channel is all about cleaning information inspiration and motivation so if you're interested please like and subscribe and turn on those notification bells so you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m when I upload a new video if you're wondering why I'm so swollen it is coming down but I'm a brain injury survivor following three ruptured cysts on my brain so that is a journey of its own um it is super cold this morning I think it's five and a half degrees and also my next video is going to be some sort of organization hacks information ways you can get around organizing and this is a requested video so if you've got any video requests please leave them in the description box down below i have got two new babies um binks and pixie and if you can hear them um she is growling because she's just met her big brother did you hear that uh the lighting is changing because these lights in my room are changing and uh it's really affecting it's really affecting this lighting so with all of that said oh my goodness it looks ghostly oh well halloween's coming up with all of that said let's jump straight into it what's your story what's your sign it's like we're twin flames in a different life deep connection lights a spark it's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers As you've just seen i've had a little bit of fun with the sound effects and i'm just sorting out my daughter's room i put her laundry away the cat is not happy that i've lifted her bed so he's buggered off and i'm just straightening up her room so it's nice and tidy for when she comes home from school she is really good at like opening her curtains and putting her stuff away in the morning but there's just odds that i need to do and i want to get the vacuum cleaner in her bedroom so i can so i can sweep and mop if you were here when I did her bedroom over, you would have noticed that a toy box was next to where I'm standing now. Um, I've removed the toys away because I'm just paranoid the toys next to plug socket is going to cause a fire. So we put the chalkboard there and the toys are back in their old space next to the dressing table. <laughs> so, yep, everything's shaken off now and I'm going to go get Stanley and also move on to my room because my room is seriously in need of a dust. And there's just a few things that I need to straighten up in my room. <laughs> Something else 
I'm editing this video and I'm just laughing that I've got tank tops there and I think it's about time now that I start looking at my winter wardrobe but bear in mind I have gone up a few sizes since um, being on the steroids and I'm really cheesed off at that but at the end of the day it will come down um, so I've got no winter clothes that fit me so I'm just going to have to have a few things which I did do from Primark just to tide me over for the winter and yeah I think I'd better get rid of my summer wardrobe and go put it in storage. I have got a few things in under the bed that are winter clothes but I need to seriously need to see whether it fits me. To be honest I think I might just take them out, hang them up and as the swelling goes down I think hopefully in theory everything should start fitting me again but that's my catch-all basket and I'm just going around the house and putting things away and you'll see in a second that Chili has now claimed the bench in my office so he's just going in and saying thank you and there you go he's by my desk chair <laughs> and he's just uh, chilling so now I've got to leave the office door open for him. Now moving on to my daughter's hair box. I have bought this box from B&M and who remembers banana clips? My daughter absolutely loves banana clips and that was actually mine when I was a kid, yeah, back in the day. Um, this box just keeps everything so organised and obviously a dance stuff is in there and in the morning it's just lovely to grab the box and do her hair and also for dance just grab the box, do her hair. It's so convenient. Now I'm going to show you my eye, right? As you know, I had previously episcleritis in my left eye. Now look what's starting on my right eye. So I've still got the drops and I'm just going to put some more drops in once I've had a good sneezing session. I tell you what, I love sneezing. But these are from Home Bargains. If you've got red eyes, please go to your optometrist or the doctor. But these, this is what I was recommended by the optometrist for epicleritis, epicleritis. In my eye, basically, it's an infection between... Um, the outer like filmy layer of the eyeball and the white of the eyeball and seriously I put these drops in first thing this morning and that has completely cleared it up. There are 89 pence in home bargains but as I say I'm not a doctor I don't know what medical conditions you've got if you've got any medical problems with your eyes please get them checked out look after your eyes and your brains. Um, so I've just done that put some eye drops in and they're absolutely fine. Now I'm going to move on to my bath um, it's not too bad. It does need a clean. So I'm going to, I have sprayed it already with mold and mildew remover. And now I'm going to use the Sif Cream Cleaner and my drill brush just to give the brush, a, the bath rather, a good scrub. And I'm going to speed it up for you. Nine, nine after nine.
as you can see, my shower head is showing a bit of a red light on it. That is because I've got a heat sensitive or thermometer on the shower head and also on my taps because I have had CIPA, which is um, or whatever symptom of the steroids, which means I can't feel heat, temperature, um, touch, things like that, pressure, pain. Um, and so obviously I needed something on my shower so that I didn't scold myself. And we, to be honest, we had something like this when my daughter was tiny um, in order so that she didn't um, burn herself and she recognized the colors, which is, yes, sort of more dangerous because when she goes out, she doesn't, she's looking for a color on the tap. But while she's at home, for the most part, it did help. And it's also very lazy when you're making water bottles or something. <laughs> um, you just see that the tap is blue so it's cold now i'm going to move on to the toilet now i'll be honest i haven't actually given my toilet a very good scrub for a while so i'm going to use my drill brush attachment which is the toilet brush i'm also going to use um the harpic blue disinfectant thingy in there bowl cleaner and i'm just going to put that in leave it to sit for a minute and then scrub it out there's my heart pick i've got the get this from home bargains i think it's a pound one and a half pounds or one pound fifty whichever way you want to say it so i'm going to use that just prepping everything and then i've also just realized that this rim block is absolutely disgusting it's managed to fill itself with water so i'm going to change that and once i've taken it out put it, it, the necessary bits in the bin I'm going to change my gloves as well because I'm just grossed out that I've just touched that and now I need to touch my drill which I do touch my drill with bare hands yes I'm a bit um how can I say it derrier about it but I just don't like transfer of germs so I'm going to change my gloves now and then I'm going to give the toilet bowl a very good scrub and also wipe it down with antibacterial wipes so here we go mm -hmm. Let's go to work Cause I'm prepping Gotta work on myself Cause I'm falling apart Please wake me up Cause I'm slipping Can't fight this feeling off No more But I'm not going to give up and fall Rise above the door Need all my challenges to search for my strength I defeat them all brain injury I am still very very weak so I've got to do things in portions and obviously I cannot comfortably get down on the floor continuously and if I know I'm going to be up in a minute literally a minute so I'm going to use my daughter's footstool bench thingy just so I can clean around the bottom of the toilet don't forget to clean around the bottom of the toilet one they collect a lot of dust two if you've got boys in the house enough said and you know where I'm coming from with that so definitely clean around the bottom of your toilet now I'm finished with that. Now I'm going to use the drill <laughs> and there's a stray hair. My hair is falling out like nobody's business. I'm going to use an antibacterial wipe just to clean my gloves. And guys, don't flush these things. Put them in the bin, please, because save our water, save our sewers. Uh, and now I'm going to use the drill brush. And as you can see, it's lovely. So I can just give it a good old scrub and it makes light work of cleaning the toilet. <laughs> Once I've drilled all the way around the bowl, I'm going to flush the toilet and rinse the brush off with the clean toilet water that's come from the cistern. And then I'm going to take the attachment off. Once I've done that, I'm going to also re 
medicine the bowl as my daughter calls it mommy there's blue medicine in the toilet yes you can still use it darling and then that is literally going to sit until the next person uses it so it might be an hour it might be three hours who knows and I'm also going to leave the brush just to drip off into the toilet and it is all done nice and sparkly also I don't wipe down my bathtub because um the sif cream cream cleaner leaves it sparkling and I don't need to like dry wipe it down Ooh, yeah, I'll be running from my door. And then most importantly, whether you've been wearing gloves or not, make sure you wash your hands thoroughly after cleaning the toilet. Or well, maybe that's just me, but I just, you have to wash your hands, guys. It's just gross. And then I obviously sanitize my hands as well. Um, I did something really silly the other day. I was waiting at the dentist and I put hand cream on my hands, then walked in and she says, can you sanitize your hands? I'm like, why did I put hand cream on beforehand? Oh my goodness. That, oh, my hands were so gross and slimy and just disgusting because the hand sanitizer wasn't working and the lotion had made like a barrier. So there you go. There's my bathroom all nice and clean. And I'm going to get Sally in to mop it and sweep it in a minute. But it, And there's a bit of water on the floor, so don't worry about the towel there. Um, and that is my bathroom all nice and sparkly clean. Thank goodness. Right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on those notification bells so you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. If you are interested in any of the products that I have used in my home today, they are linked in the description box as well as on my website, stickymess17.co.uk. My next video, as I say, is going to be an organization video. And then I'm thinking of doing either Amazon favorites or a brain injury or how my recovery is going. So do keep an eye out for that. Um, and then also any products that are not listed on my website, I either get from Home Bargains, b and Tesco or anything like that. So just like a high street store. So make sure that you check out my website. And yeah, if you've got any questions, please leave them down below. If you've got any video, video ideas, let me know down in the comments as well. So look after yourselves, stay safe, look after your brains and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. See you. Bye. <laughs>